Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary O'Connor with the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation. Thanks to support from the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health and Alaska Public Media, we are able to bring you hangar flying. This evening, we are pleased to have on our show Aaron Hall Mead. Every year, Aaron works with the scholarship committee to find the best candidates for our scholarships with the Safety Foundation. Aaron, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. The Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation has several scholarships available. Can you tell me about them? Absolutely. We have three scholarships available. We have the Tom Wardley Scholarship. That's a $1,500 scholarship. We have the Virginia Hyatt Memorial Scholarship, $1,500, and we have the Ellen Pontiac Memorial Scholarship for $1,500. So every year, the Safety Foundation gives $4,500 in scholarships to people who have the intention of making commercial aviation in Alaska their career. And where would people find information about these scholarships? We are online at www.aasfonline.org and the information on how you qualify for the scholarship is there, what the prerequisites are, and the application itself is online. The deadline this year has changed. The deadline is March 31st. That's earlier than usual. We've changed because we want to be able to announce our scholarship winners at our spring safety seminar. We want to be able to announce them at the uh, Great Alaskan Aviation Gathering. And this gives people a little more time to plan their fall semester finances if we tell them by the end of March whether they've won or not. So that deadline of March 31st is coming up quickly. It's coming up quickly. There's about five or six weeks left. The application is not long and onerous. It's pretty easy. We ask you to prove that you are in an, an approved or accredited aviation training program. You must already have your private pilot certificate. This is not scholarships for recreational pilots or private pilots. This is for people who want to do it commercially. Prove to us that you've lived in Alaska for at least two of the last three years. Your PFD checks are perfect proof. Um, or a utility bill that goes back a couple of years. Tell us what you're going to do with your scholarship. If you want to send a letter of recommendation, that's terrific too. We do ask that you be at least 30 percent of the way through the accredited program that you're studying. So I have a question about people that might be applying for other scholarships as well. There are some other organizations in Anchorage and nationally that give scholarships and would that disqualify somebody from Absolutely a scholarship? Absolutely not. The, um, the Alaska Air Carriers Association, the Alaska Airmen's Association, the 99's which are the Women's Pilots Organization, the Women in Aviation Organization, they all have scholarships available. It's perfectly okay with us if you win more than one scholarship and you can apply more than one year at a time. We have funded people for two or more years. So we've had some fantastic winners in the past. They'd be eligible to apply and win again, correct? Absolutely. In fact, if you went for your commercial and you decided you wanted to go for something like external load, yeah, put another application in and we'll consider you. We want to give this money away. We want to build the future commercial pilots for Alaska. And are the applications available only for pilots? What if somebody was working their way through a, say, aircraft mechanics program? Absolutely. We do award a scholarship for ANP. Um, there's no point in having a bunch of pilots out there if you don't have ANPs to keep the airplanes in the air. So yes, we are perfectly happy to give one or more of those scholarships to somebody in an accredited A&P program. Thank you. Uh, they still do need to have a pilot's license though, correct? Still have to have a pilot's license. That's a basic requirement, absolutely. And I will also say, please fill the application out completely. Please fill it out legibly. Please fill it out in pen. A smudged paper, if we can't read it, we can't evaluate it. And Please send all of your supporting documentation at one time because we don't have time to get back to you and say, hey, we're missing proof of residency. And again, we only have five or six weeks to get those applications in, so let's go. And that's going to be days since the deadline is 
Can you repeat again for us? March 31st must be postmarked by March 31st. Absolutely. Must be complete, must be legible. Erin, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for sharing your information, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the scholarship committee again this year. Thanks a lot, Mary. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're working on a career in aviation, please see our website and fill out an application. If you'd like to contribute to the scholarship fund, you can contribute directly to the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation, or you can contribute through Pick, Click, Give when you file your permanent fund dividend application. Thank you for your support, and thank you for watching Hangar Flying. Until next time, fly safely.